Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. I'm Robbie Robertson, along with Oklahoma State head coach Pat Jones. This past Saturday, Oklahoma State played their final home game of the year. It was Bedlam football as the Oklahoma Sooners came to town, and the game ended in a 15-15 tie. And uh, Pat, this was an emotional roller coaster all day long. How do you react to a 15-15 tie? Well, I think I, I don't think either one of us, Robbie, speaking of us or OU, are are pleased or satisfied with the tie. I think it probably from our standpoint, the way the ball game ended, uh, it might have been a little bit more of a downer. Uh, again, we were went, <coughs> excuse me went ahead with a minute 13 or minute 19, whatever it was, and and again OU marches down the field and hits the field goal at the gun. But I think we're all probably wondering how you're supposed to feel after right. this. I, I don't know that anybody, again, we're not pleased with it. I'm not from a standpoint of, the. <clears throat> again, you were hitting the ball game late. I'm pleased at where this football team has has gotten to from where we started out. And we've gotten a lot off, awful lot of things accomplished. I think uh, we made a lot of, continue to make improvement, improved uh, against OU. But it does leave you with a, a kind of an empty feeling. I would assume they feel the same way. All right, let's take a, a look at the first half highlights. It was a beautiful day for a wild football game, and uh, you stunned everybody, Pat, coming out in all black uniforms, and you had to say goodbye to 19 seniors at home. Well, these are guys there went Chaucer Funches who had broken his wrist earlier, broken his hand earlier in the season. And again, those guys have meant, mean an awful lot to this program and, uh, in, in a lot of ways. Here's the first series, uh, good defensive series. I think we set the tone again in Keith Burns and crowd. Uh, swarmed the football. Uh, we started Art Davis, number 50, middle linebacker Richie Ainsley had hurt his neck a little bit the, the previous week. Uh, here's a little screen pass. And Gildon, I think Gildon played an extremely good ball game. And again, we, we set a real good tone emotionally. Uh, here, uh, I think I thought Kale played a very good ball game throughout and I think held up extremely well. You see Gildon getting over here and nice stick on, on Rashid and uh, we stop him in three downs and, and force a punt. And, Right, the weather conditions were ideal, a little bit of wind, not, not much. Uh, nice job here of Gary Porter, uh, Shannon Culver, uh, some quick stuff. Uh, here's Denson on the, on the sweep with the motion. We actually played a little bit more, Robbie, with a tight end in the ball game and incorporated some of the things with some motion. John White, uh, uh, nice, good, determined run. I thought he and Mark Williams both played well at tailback. Denson hit a crack here. Uh, yeah, we're moving the ball very consistently. Again, OU's got a good defensive football team. Here's Rafael. Uh, John White is fixing to turn somebody upside down right there. Again, I, uh, all those backs, I think, played really well. Roger Frank's a fullback playing again, playing with a big cast on his hand. I thought had a, had a good afternoon. Okay, here's Porter back to throw. Had a guy who was kind of open down the middle, but Gary didn't seem. I think Porter played his best ball game. Watch this right here. This is a sneak and streak, and Gary did a good job overthrowing it. Tight end came off, and I don't know that anybody saw him. And uh, it almost was a big play. We go ahead and sneak, and make the first down. I think Porter, for doing the things a quarterback has got to do, Robbie under pressure, I thought really played his probably his best ball game. Thought he played within himself. Uh, again, this good job here, Mark Cheatwood. He almost came out of this first down, but again back to Porter as far as setting and throwing and. Again, when you got to take a sack, take a sack. When you got to throw it away, throw it away. And when you got to hit a key pass, hitting it, uh, our receiver core continued to play well. All right, the drive stalled, and, and Lawson Vaughn missed a 47 yard field goal. We exchanged punts, and now we pick it up with less than a minute to go in the quarter. Well, okay, Cornell Cannon, boy, nice break, good throw. Uh, he, I couldn't see it from the sideline where we were, but uh, he got loose down in there. We've got the ball on their side of the field. There really weren't many turnovers. We did not turn over all day long. I think they did twice. Uh, again, good break, uh, had the route, both routes played. Uh, again, Cannon, who has had a good career here and, and, and played one of his better ball games. Again, came very close to, to getting totally loose down the sidelines and scoring. There's Jeff Ressler making a good play on him, but now we've got the ball on their side of the field. We've already had a good series before. Here's Denson coming back on a little twist motion. And, uh, good determined run. Boy, I thought Denson played as hard as, as anybody can play. He had an extremely good ball game. Again, Mark Will, Mark Williams and, and John White, we, could, we kind of played interchangeably. Uh, Roger Franks, Franks came within a hair several times of breaking out the backside. Okay, this is the touchdown pass. Porter came off the, the number one receiver, and Denson again makes an extremely determined uh, run to get in the end zone. Here's Gary coming back. He's got good time. By and large, our protection was pretty good throughout the course of the afternoon, and Gary throws the ball into Rafael. 
Uh, watch this right here. He's going to bowl over a couple of guys to get in the end zone. Good job, Rafael. Good job, Porter. Uh, Oklahoma State goes up seven to nothing. Oklahoma uh, comes right back and, and puts a drive of their own together here as we get down toward the end of the. I thought from the uh, sideline, Robbie uh, Harmon had a chance to intercept that ball, but it didn't. And they come off it. Uh, we I thought we we had them stopped or had a chance to get them stopped. And Rashid makes a good determined run right here and gets into to what appears to have knotted the game up at seven. This is a pretty bizarre play <laughs> yes, here, but it is. on the same hand, it, it, Carlos Irving does a great job of, he, he's athletic enough to jump up and, and block this, and then Keith Burns uh, is athletic enough, obviously, to pick the ball up and outrun most anything that's trying to, to chase him. And, and I thought this was big from the standpoint that uh, th they had kind of turned the momentum and we, in turn, took it right back right after, right after their touchdown. So emotionally, I thought this was a big swing in the ball game for us, and again, Keith Burns a great player. 74 yards, now uh, uh, OU got it back with about six and a half minutes to go. They did an awful nice job of executing this tight end delay, uh, which we saw, but again, seeing it and, and defending it's two different things, and then they did a good job of this, and Joy Mickey and, and Kale, again, they get off down in here now, and uh, good play, Keith Burns. I, I really didn't ever think that the, the, the running game on their part was, was a lot of a factor consistently. Uh, again, they threw the ball around fairly effectively at times. Good job, Keith Burns. Okay, they had changed their blocking patterns on this play, which, which really didn't affect us a great deal. But they did a nice job adjusting. Okay, here comes Blanton and uh, kicks this one. and So now again, they, they're, they're back on the board. Right, now it's all tied up at nine and OU was driving again, but the Cowboy uh, defense came up with another big play. Well, again, this is a, this is a good job here. Scotty Harmon intercepting it right there. Uh, now the, the ball game's tied at nine going into half. And again, like you talked about from the outset, large, large swings emotionally. Right, played a very uh, tough 30 minutes. Nothing's been decided here, and, and you have to feel good about your ball club. It doesn't look like OU is able to march up and down the field. No, I thought going in, Robbie, I, that we would play well defensively, and, and I think that we did. Offensively, we moved the ball a little bit more effectively than I might have thought. Again, it's hard to get real big plays against them because they, they can run well in the secondary and they're well coached and they rarely get out of position. But again, it's just like the score. It's, it's, an, it's an even ball game. It sure is. Even at nine at halftime, stay with us. The Pat Jones Show continues right after this. Oklahoma State and Oklahoma tied at nine at halftime. Let's get to the second half highlights. Oklahoma State won the coin toss, deferred. So, uh, Coach, uh, you go on offense here to start the second half and put together a pretty impressive drive. This ends up being a 12-play drive, Robbie. This was, I thought, very, very crucial toward the ultimate outcome of this ball game. Again, I think key thing, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Oklahoma had heard the score of the Iowa State-Nebraska ball game. I was trying to kind of watch their reaction come down the ramp, and again, I, I don't think anybody believed that there's a nice throw and catch to cover, but again, for the emotional part of this ball game, this was very, very crucial not to let them come out there and, and seize the momentum. Again, a great throw by Porter, great catch by Denson. We're continuing to expand some of his roles in different formations. Good job of Gary coming out here on the naked and, and, and throwing the ball on the run. This is really a, a, a great throw. Look at this, right where it had to be. Great job of Denson coming back for the ball. And, Again, uh, John White breaks here. I thought he was going to score from where I was looking at it from down there on the bench. and They ran him down at about the six or seven yard line. A uh, good cut here. Again, there was a lot of give and take with the two fronts against our offensive line, against their defensive front, and, and vice versa. Good job, John White. Again, the ball's now first and goal at the seven. They stop us, and Lawson Vaughn comes in and kicks a field goal. The first one that he had missed, Robin, the first half, 47 yard, he had hit well. Uh, and he came in and hit that one. Here's, later on, they run a reverse off down in here. and Now they've got the ball down around 24, 25 yard line. This is OU's next possession. Yeah, again, nothing right here. Gildon and company uh, knock them back. Big play right here, Keith Burns. Okay, now they're going back, try this little uh, Z screen. Both of us tried to throw this <laughs> same route and right. never could hit it. <laughs> now they come in and Blanton comes in and, and, and knocks it through. It seemed like every time somebody did something, the other one would kind of counter it. And again, no one could consistently uh, seize the momentum. It's the first time I've seen that balloon. I didn't see it yesterday. <laughs> now we go to the start of the fourth quarter with uh, OU at the Cowboy goal line here. Well, again, uh, they have driven down. Uh, the, uh, there was a call in, in, in this drive that kept the drive alive. And, 
Uh, okay, here they. Th this is very crucial, obviously, right down there. That was the third down play, wasn't it, Robbie? Yes, sir. The same play again. Okay, they're going to run Brewer up inside. Uh, Keith Burns and, and crew do a good job of holding him out of the end zone. Now it's fourth and inches. They've got to make a decision, obviously. And they're going to try to sneak it, and there comes the football. I don't know that he would have scored anyway. We did a nice job of stuffing him in the interior. Huge, huge play right here. Huge play. Let's watch this. Again, nothing really going there. The ball came out real rapidly, and uh, a Brewer picks it up. Again, now it's just react on your feet, and there's Carlos Irving and Michael Woolridge who hit him and throw him for a loss, and Oklahoma State has held down in there the same thing again. I think Harmon probably was instrumental in knocking that ball out, although, again, I don't think there was really anywhere as far as, as being able to sneak the ball across. I, had he held on to it, he, I don't think that he would have made it. But, again, uh, game of, of immensely big plays. Okay. Now on, on our drive, we're able to – to hit a, a pass here to uh, to Shannon Culver, but we end up punting the ball. Yeah, away. again, this is big from the standpoint that here we are going back and, and throwing uh, within the shadow of our own goal line, and the protection is great. And Culver runs a great route. Uh, Gary makes a very good throw, and we pick up a crucial, crucial first down. Again, it, it, when every play virtually is, is just pressure packed at this point. So OU goes uh, uh, back on offense, and the defense. Uh, again, just continues to, to be a force and, and force OU into a punt. Well, here's David Brooks. You can see we had a little stunt inside. Brooks, Gildon, Elmer Williams, uh, nothing going here. Fleshman, uh, so they're backed up now. It seemed like one of us would get backed up and get out, and then the other one got backed up. And Okay, here's Porter on a sprint pass. They get good protection, good throw. Mark Cheatwood, uh, Anderson, their strong safety, really banged him around. And, a uh, good job of Mark Cheatwood. He he really played well. Okay, here we come back. Sprint pass again. Get the guys knocked down on the corner. Uh, great throw. Great catch. Very good route. We we had motion dancing across the formation. And again, the, the stadium's going bonkers. And uh, we've got a good drive going. Uh, the time is we're into the fourth quarter now. Uh, here's Gary coming out. You can see the protection is good. He gets does a good job of getting squared up and throwing this ball this way. Perfect throw. Perfect route. Uh, good job of Denson. So we're on the move here. This is uh, this drive started with about seven minutes to go, and you felt if somebody scored a touchdown, they'd win the game. We well, felt if anybody really scored any points. We get down in there, Robbie, and there was a, a third down run that Franks almost broke out of to make a first. Uh, Lost Vaughn comes in, a minute and something left in the ball game. Immense amount of pressure. Freshman kicker uh, knocks it through. Uh, and now, I think there was a big play that, that we, we mishit the kickoff, gave them the ball to 35-yard line. This is a big play. In the drive right there, Todd Fisher makes a very good break to get his hands on this ball right here. You got to give uh, Kale and their crew an awful lot of credit for battling. Uh, right in here, you can see Fisher has made a good break. I saw this from the sideline. Warren, their receiver, was in the right place at the right time. Again, uh, sure, this now the, the exchange, they had thrown one at the end zone. Again, run the ball up inside. Blanton comes in. Uh, time expires, and this is just kind of everybody standing around. I, I, oh, yeah, pretty much done. I mean, we all felt the same way. Uh, I, I, again, I come back to this. It, it was very unique. It was a, a unique sensation. Again, I, no one was pleased. I don't know that anybody was necessarily heartbroken over the deal. Both clubs did some very good things, uh, and it ended up in a tie. I don't know really what else to say. And I don't think anybody really knows how to react to a ball game like that. You. You've got it won, then you're afraid you're going to lose it. It ends in a tie, and, and you really don't know how, how to react to it. But when you go back over the game plan, Pat, uh, Gary Porter had to play with a great deal of mm -hmm. poise. Uh, the defense had to stop the Oklahoma run. Right. You held the Sooners to 85 yards uh, rushing, and, right. and you felt like Porter played with some poise. Well, didn't you? again, I think you can look at both sides of this thing, and, and I think the, the guys that are the key figures for both squads, Keith Burns continues to dominate play, in my opinion. Uh, Porter, who is going to be a very good player, played well. Denson played well. Kale Gundy played well. Uh, Reggie Barnes played well. So, again, the, the key people in this whole scenario really perform well, which they're supposed to do. The good players are supposed to play well in big ball games, and they did. And it was a heck of a football game, 15-15 tie. Stay with us. The Pat Jones Show continues right after this. The Play of the Week is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. 
Fourth and inches, Oklahoma State's, uh, near Oklahoma State's goal, uh, OU tries to sneak the ball in. Again, our defensive unit did a great job. I, I don't really feel like that he could have gotten in even if he had held on to the football. Uh, all our interior there, that's Elmer Williams and, and Woolridge and all that crew and Scotty Harmon hits the ball and it comes jumping out. And again, our guys had the presence of mind to, to, to hold, keep them out of the end zone. The, uh, immensely big play in a play of a game of big plays. Absolutely. Uh, Coach, you mentioned earlier in the in the show that uh, you feel like the ball club has progressed. Talk a little bit more about that, maybe some of the areas where you've seen the, the greatest progress. Well, I don't think anybody realizes, other than those of us in the program every day, how far this group has come. And I think particularly d offensively, I can look at all phases. You, you, again, you're dealing with a true freshman quarterback that has continued to get better, has had some highs and lows and, and had his best ball game. Let's talk about a starting receiver that you didn't have during two a days. You move Scott Waterbury into guard. Now you take Dents in the tailback. All the maneuvering and the pieces of the puzzle uh, are, are, have started to fit in there. But uh, again, we've, we've gotten some, some great, some big years out of some fifth year guys. And just to come again from where we were to where we are now, and, and we're not the finished product by any remote stretch, but from point A to point B, I'm so proud of the players involved in this program and the assistant coaches for getting all those things done. Again, if you, if you haven't, if not there every day, you, you can't believe the work that's gone into this. All right. Uh, we'll take one final break, come back with Magic Moment, and then talk about the final game of the year. Stay with us. The Pat Jones Show continues right after this. This Cowboy Magic Moment is brought to you by Johnson's of Kingfisher and Chickasha. Oklahoma State's reputation for producing outstanding tailbacks is second to none in the NCAA. Number 34, Thurman Thomas is Oklahoma State's all-time leading rusher. In four years, Thomas rushed for almost 4,600 yards and scored 44 touchdowns. The two-time All-America was the Buffalo Bills' first-round draft choice in 1988 and in 1991 was the NFL's most valuable player. Number 21, Barry Sanders is Oklahoma State's most decorated football player. In 1988, Sanders had an unbelievable season capped off by winning the coveted Heisman Trophy. The holder of 34 NCAA records and 14 Big A Conference records, Sanders was a first-round draft choice of the Detroit Lions and is one of the most feared players in the NFL. Thurman Thomas and Barry Sanders, another Cowboy Magic moment. Pat, it well, must make you feel good to coach those guys on Saturday and watch well, them play Well, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a magic moment <clears throat> for Oklahoma State, Robbie, every Sunday when these two guys are are doing what they're doing. If I remember correctly, a week ago in the NFL, Thurman had the big day and, and Sanders in a losing cause against Dallas had a, a big day running the ball. Right. They were the one and two leading rushers in the NFL. And anytime you've got guys that, that touch the ball at, at this level of play that do what they're doing, virtually every Sunday is a magic moment. They're great representatives of of Oklahoma State. They're great representatives for anybody that's around them. And, and it, I, you get the university gets immense publicity and positive publicity every time they touch the football in the NFL. Uh, Thurman has tied records of Jimmy Brown set. Right. And again, Sanders is doing these things. And, <clears throat> and I think you could probably put Jimmy Johnson's kid Emmett Smith in, the, in with that crew. But you've got, again, great, great tailbacks. Best play in the game. Got about 30 seconds left here. You go on the road and finish the season at Kansas State. Well, it's big from the standpoint that we need to win one on the road. We can even our league record up. We can uh, even our season record up at 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. So for all the right reasons, we need to have a good week. Go up there and let's see what we can do to win the ball. All game. right. Good luck to you, Pat. Thanks for being with us today. The season ends next week at Kansas State. We'll see you here after the Kansas State game. Thanks for joining us for Pat Jones and Oklahoma State University. I'm Robbie Robertson. Goodbye, everybody.